So I just finished grocery shopping. Need uh, supplies for the trip to California. And uh, in the front of the store, there was a Girl Scout uh, stand selling cookies. So I had to buy cookies. The girl that was there was really sweet. He had a shirt uh, saying 100 years of uh, Scout organization. I always support that. Boy Scout for life. So leaving Las Vegas, going to California for the next two, three weeks. So here's the famous Las Vegas sign. Everybody has to take the picture there. That is like, if you're coming from south, first thing you're gonna see. I am going south and leaving Las Vegas. California mountains covered with snow. It's mid-March. Actually, it's St. Patrick's Day today. There's still snow over there. Just woke up and it's emergency. I heard from this right side some banging noise and uh, w w RV was shaking like left to right. So I said the wind, but then some flapping sound. They said, oh no, it's the awning. When I came here, it was nice weather, but last two days really rousy. Rain yesterday. Oh, wind, yep. Awning was flapping and shaking the whole RV. So now I have to see and uh, evaluate how much wind can it take. Oh yeah, that's the neighbor. It looks like one from uh, Breaking Bad. There's no smoke, so they're not cooking. Worst moment of your RV life. When you have to pack everything and move to a different camp. Here's my buddy Sean. And he has so many things. Look at on that side, there's one generator. Green one down there. On this side, he has another red generator because the green one gave away on him. Then he has the Indian motorcycle. He has some huge chairs, truck. And the Indian. and bicycles for kids when they come to visit and all other junk other generator, letter boxes life ain't easy for nomads the other one comes back that's he left that same spot last Sunday when I came in he was just packing to leave so he had to go one week boondocking and now coming back and now the magic of parking this bullshit in reverse, which I'm never going to be able to do. Thanks God I don't drive that. Look at that. Look at that skill. In one shot. That's amazing. Wow. Even didn't hit the other guy. Between the three. I wish I can do that. It's just all like trigonometry it's angles and vectors and I'm good in math but I'm bad in driving great job buddy and this Patriot is moving also so I'm losing everybody in the area I'm gonna be alone here which is okay so one is gone new one moved in and Sean is all packed and ready to leave Patriot is leaving right now. A wife is driving. A husband was driving uh, Mercedes and the dogs. A wife and kids are in the RV. Looks professional. <laughs> All right, but we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. 
Sunday, always big activity in the RE Park. People moving in, coming out. And then Monday, you need to get new friends. In the evening, share a beer or two bottle of uh, tequila. That's RV living. It's Sunday afternoon. All my buddies left. So I'm here alone having coffee. Just had, uh, it's about 5.30, 71 degree, beautiful day. I was on the pool for about two hours. Then uh, while I was wet, let's shower and shave. So I am all fresh. <laughs> it is one week that I'm here in uh, Soledad Canyon Park. A really quiet place, pretty around, and uh, because of a lot of uh, rain this year, everything is green sooner than normal. The closest city here, it's Acton, but that's really, there's nothing there. Then you continue another probably 10 miles, and there's Palmdale and then Lancaster. Palmdale has everything. I went to Albertson for shopping. Everybody settled down already. When they come in, they have to do their hookups. There's a story about action in the park on Sunday. Mm -hmm.